guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm reviewing Xeno Raid, a small space shooter indie that's made by developer 10 Tons. So make sure you got your ship upgraded, make sure you're ready for survival, and make sure you stop those aliens from capturing Earth, and let's get started. That's right, folks, another space shooter has joined the ranks this year, and his name is Xeno Raid. Developed by 10 Ton Studios, this indie title puts you in the hands of four different ships as you're stopping the aliens from invading Earth, coming close to Earth, or even in the same galaxy as Earth. Xeno Raid comes with two modes story for those interested in knowing what's going on, and survival mode for those who can feel like they can last long against the alien overlords. It's up to you to prove your might and stand strong against the aliens in Xeno Raid and see what you're really up against. Now see when I first started playing Xeno Raid, I honestly thought before I really started getting into it that it was going to be one of those quirky little indie space shooters that kind of takes a spin on Galaga or Space Invaders or one of those kind of games and puts it in, in its own little twist, but surprisingly while it does have a Galaga type style and puts its own twist to it, 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 it's much more than what you would think it is for an indie title. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce to you, the pros. My first pro for Xenoid is that the gameplay is intense. It has a Galaga style format where the enemies come down from the top of the screen to attack you. But while that goes on, the formation the enemies switch up, and sometimes the game begins to have bullet hell s moments and shootouts throughout the stages. And the feature of the gameplay is that the lives you have are a part of the four ships you're in control of. While being able to switch between all four for hectic moments on the screen or whatever else may be coming out to shoot you or kill you, it is definitely, definitely a pro for me. My next pro for Xeno Raid is that the game is challenging. It gets tougher and tougher by the mission, the act, and the mode. Story mode has indicators of what type of missions are hard depending on the color. Yellow being easy, orange being normal, and red being hard. Normal and hard missions themselves are what keep the challenge going. From ways of enemies on the screen to things you need to dodge to asteroids you have to look out for. To survival mode just being a straight shoot fest that grows increasingly hard as you progress. It is definitely, definitely a pro for me. My last pro for Xeno Raid is that the boss battles are fun, crazy, hectic, and downright awesome. It feels like one of the older Raiden arcade games with the challenge. So much going on screen, so many enemies at once, so much going on all together that it's really just good. There's bosses on certain acts and modes, and when you get there, they're definitely fun and really get even more hard as you progress. It's really good, and it is definitely, definitely a pro for me. Now see, as I was playing and progressing through Xeno Raid, as I got further throughout the game and whatnot, I didn't have that many problems with the game. The main two problems I had with the game were really like eye-opening and evident stuff. One was surprising and the other were kind of just, it was there, you know? So without further ado, I'd like to introduce to you, the cons. <laughs> My first con for Xeno Raid is that the story really isn't even that good or memorable or even noticeable. In fact, you kind of had these troopers from select missions hop in and do talks about the aliens and what to expect from the next mission, but nothing really engaging. It's kind of there just to mainly progress you further for your next mission or act or whatever you're going into in your unlocks for ships. But besides that, the story is just something to skip past or just play through the missions for achievements and whatnot because the story there really isn't even there. It's definitely a con for me. My last and final con is that Xeno Raid is fun, it really is, but the fun doesn't help hold up the lack of modes that it has. Xeno Raid only really consists of story mode and survival, both single player and co-op friendly. Just outside of that, after a while it can get stale. There's no boss rush mode or online play or anything of the sort. It kind of just gets stagnant in playing story and then beating it and then trying to survive the waves of whichever galaxy you choose from, because there's nothing really left afterwards. It's definitely a con for me. But all in all, Xeno Raid is definitely a fun game. From its crazy bullet hell style meets Galaga gameplay, to its everlasting growing and challenging portion from the story missions and survival, to its extremely cool boss fights definitely make the game notable in its own right. But the bland and unoriginal aliens trying to invade Earth story and the lack of modes to play also hurt Xeno Raid because there's nothing much else to do when it's all said and done. I'll be giving Xeno Raid a 3 out of 5. 
All right, guys, that concludes my review for Xeno Rage. Stay tuned because I have many more reviews for you guys coming from Mafia 3, Gears of War 4, Forza Horizon 3, Xenoverse 2, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered, Titanfall 2, and many, many more reviews for you guys coming, so stay tuned for that as well. Also, if you haven't seen my review on Batman The Telltale Series Episode 3, link to that will be in the description box below where you can check that out. Also, if you're a Let's Play fan and you haven't been watching my Let's Play Until Dawn, links to the episodes will be in the description box below where you can catch up on all of them. Also, if you want to follow me on Twitch and Twitter, links to those will be in the description box below as well. So until next time and until the next video, guys, we'll tune in, turn up, and throw down. I'm out.